to the No Spin News, Monday, February 12th, 2024. Stand up for your country. Well, because the corrupt media is playing it down, the facts of this devastating Robert Hur report, some Americans are not really aware how serious this thing is. So as you know, I'm uh, writing a book called Confronting the Presidents, No Spin Assessments from Washington to Biden. And I have a a house full of research. This has really never happened before, where a sitting president is deemed by authoritative figures as being almost senile. Now, Woodrow Wilson had a stroke, and his wife ran the country for more than a year, and nobody knew it, because back then the press didn't have access unless the president wanted the press to. And of course, after Wilson had a stroke, they don't want anything to do with it. But no, no other president has really been in this kind of a situation. It's unique. But when you're out and about, if the people that don't follow the news cycle, and I, I put that at about 50% of us now in this country, adults, they don't, they don't care. They're not following it. All right. And they get dribs and drabs here and there. They don't know how serious this is. Um, the reaction to hers report has been ferocious, and that is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. So um, we uh, all got this information about 3.30 last Thursday afternoon. All right, it broke, and um, the full transcript, this is very important for you to understand. Joe Biden was deposed all right, by Robert Hur's lawyers, the special counsel's crew. Hur, I think, was there, and every word was transcribed. It's going to be a battle to see that whole transcription. Justice Department isn't releasing it. It's just releasing portions to justify what Hur's conclusion is, and that is, I can't prosecute Joe Biden even though he did willfully, and that's her word, remove the documents he knew should not have been removed. I can't prosecute him because he's senile. That's basically what it is. And her had to put that in there and back it up to justify him not bringing charges. Her couldn't just say, I'm not going to prosecute Biden because I don't want to. There had to be a reason. So all of this comes out Thursday, right? And the report makes it clear that the president of the United States is in steep cognitive decline and that the special prosecutor doesn't believe a jury would convict him because of that. Okay, right away, the NBC News spin machine, and this has never happened in the history of American journalism. But there is a network totally devoted to the Democratic Party, and that is NBC. And here's how they swung into action. Go. Let's call it what it is. Uh, This is ageism snuck into a report clearing the person of any wrongdoing. If someone says you're too far left, you can tack to the center. You, you, there's no, the man is 80 years old. He rides a bike. He he is the age he is. And, and so it's, it's, it's a very useful political attack for that reason. This is a lot to do about nothing. Uh, The president is incredibly sharp. I am so grateful he is in charge of our country. We need to be focused on ensuring that he gets reelected. So the way that the president's demeanor in that report was characterized could not be more wrong on the facts and clearly politically motivated, gratuitous. Now, Harris doesn't work for NBC, but I had to throw that in. So this is politically motivated, according to the vice president, who I I guess missed the entire Justice Department running interference for Hunter Biden for years. I guess she missed that. But now, all of a sudden, the Justice Department is politically motivated to get Joe Biden. This is the thinking of the vice president. Okay. Incra- it just is crazy. So 
I wrote a message of the day uh, today, and I blame Jill Biden, the first lady, for this whole fiasco. Okay, and that's my opinion. She, better than anyone, knows the cognitive state of her husband, but she loves the power so much she doesn't want to give it up. Not about the country. And this is very similar to Nancy Reagan, by the way. And I wrote a column, Dancing with Dementia, on Sunday. You should read both the message and the column. The Reagan Library won't carry killing Reagan in Simi Valley, California, because we told the truth about Ronald Reagan's mental state and how it fluctuated and Nancy Reagan's role in that. And we backed it up 50 different ways. But... The Reagan people didn't want to hear it, just like the Biden people didn't want to hear it. Okay, but Reagan, while he was president, made a remarkable comeback from the assassination attempt. It was dicey for a while. Biden's not going to make any comeback because this is a natural course of events. And I, in the column, talked about my mother. I don't like to do that, but I had to do it to let you know how I know. Okay. So Jill Biden, you know, I, I hesitate to be too hard on her, but I do believe that she is harming the country. Here's what she said. Quote, I hope you can imagine how it felt to read the attack, not just as Joe's wife, but as Bo's mother. I don't know what the special counsel was trying to achieve. We should give everyone grace. And I can't imagine someone would try to use our son's death to score political points. So in the report, her said that Joe Biden couldn't remember within several years when his son Bo died. Now, I understand the angst of the Bidens on the Bo Biden front. But to label this as a political attack, when her had to back up his decision not to prosecute Joe Biden, and he made two points. One, Joe Biden didn't know when he was vice president, didn't know the years, and didn't even know when his son died. That might be harsh. I'm trying to think, would I have done that? I, I probably would not have. I would have held it back, but I might have hinted at it. But anyway, I think Jill Biden has a lot of explaining to do. Score political points. I don't know what political points the Justice Department's trying to score here. Okay. Meanwhile, there is a poll. ABC News. It's a flimsy poll. 528 adults. That's nothing. Okay. Um, Question, if reelected, Joe Biden would be 82 years old in the start of his second term. And if elected again, Trump would be 78 years old, start of his second term. Do you think only Biden is too old for another term as president? 27 percent. Only Trump is too old for another term as president. Three percent. Both are too old. 59, neither is too old, 11. Second question. As you may know, Justice Department Special Counsel Robert Hur has decided not to criminally charge Joe Biden for his handling of the classified information after he left office as vice president. Do you think Joe Biden should be charged with a crime? Should 38, should not 34, don't know 28. Do you think Donald Trump should or Should not have immunity from criminal prosecution for the actions he took while as president. Should have immunity, 33. Should not, 66. Okay, there's a lot of ideology baked into those uh, conclusions. Again, 528 adults is nothing. I don't know why ABC even bothered. You want to take a sample, take 1,000, 1,500. All right, let's sum this up. There is no political motivation for Robert Hur's report. Okay, it has to go by Attorney General Merrick Garland, who is a devoted Democrat and who has embarrassed himself, in my opinion, 
by covering for Hunter Biden all these years. It's falling apart. But remember, Garland signed off on that insane plea bargain that the judge threw out where Hunter Biden got nothing and then couldn't be prosecuted for anything he ever did in the future. <laughs> Merrick Garland said, yeah, OK. This, these are the people who are now attacking Joe Biden. And that's a memo. All right, let's go to Trump. So Saturday, 2.30, Coastal Carolina University. Trump gives a speech that is always trouble. <laughs> Why is it always trouble? Because Donald Trump plays to the crowd. So there are 3,000 people inside the Coastal uh, University uh, Center, the HTC Center, and there are about 2,000 outside. Big crowd. So Trump wings it. It's not on a teleprompter. And then as the crowd gets more and more enthusiastic as he attacks Trump, the Democratic Party and Biden and anybody else, Nikki Haley, and then he goes further and further and further. So Trump makes two mistakes, and I'll tell you why they're mistakes in a moment. First one is about NATO. Go. One of the presidents of a big country stood up and said, well, sir, uh, if we don't pay and we're attacked by Russia, will you protect us? I said, you didn't pay, you're delinquent. He said, yes, let's say that happened. No, I would not protect you. In fact, I would encourage them to do whatever the hell they want. You got to pay. You got to pay your bills. Okay. So the press then seizes that and throws it out there to obscure the Biden stuff. Now, Trump has been saying this for 10 years that NATO nations are derelict in their payments and the United States taxpayer, you and me, are picking up their defense. He's right. The NATO countries have got to pay what they have promised to pay. But then, of course, Trump takes it further. I'll let the Russians do whatever they want to you if you don't pay. And boom! The press grabs it and uses it for their own purposes. Okay, second soundbite is about Nikki Haley. And remember, Trump has already beaten Nikki Haley. Nikki Haley is no threat to Donald Trump. Go. Then she comes over to see me at Mar-a-Lago. Sir, I will never run against you. She brought her husband. Where's her husband? Oh, he's away. He's away. What happened to her husband? What happened to her husband? Where is he? He's gone. Why? So her husband, Nikki Haley's husband, is in the Army National Guard. And he was deployed to Africa, where he is right now, with the 218th Maneuver Enhancement Brigade. He's serving his country in the Horn of Africa. Why would you do that? Now, Trump didn't know that. Because, again, he's ad-libbing this. So he didn't know Nikki Haley's husband was serving his country in the Army National Guard in Northern Africa. So he's implying that there's some reason the man isn't with Nikki Haley on a campaign trail. This is so self-destructed to Donald Trump and to you people who just support him, the MAGA people. Okay, it's self-destructive. Why are you doing this? Don't have to do it. You've already beaten her. And even if it was neck and neck, you don't go after her husband. Who's a patriot, do you? But he doesn't think about that. He's caught up in the moment of the rally. And I write about this extensively in the United States of Trump. It's almost two people. So when, when I sit with him, Donald Trump, and I speak to him, he's lucid, all right? A leads a B, leads a C, leads a D. But once you get him in the rally, boom. And again, Trump should be up by 20 points over Biden. He's up by two. Should be up by 20. 
because this stuff happens so much. And of course, the press just takes it and just goes with it all day long. Yeah, Biden might not be able to get out of bed in the morning, but he's better than this guy. This is hurting the country big time because Trump governed a thousand times better than Joe Biden. But he's not running on his record. He's running on where's Nikki Haley's husband. Oh, our freedom should never be taken for granted. They must be cherished, protected, and defended. When corporations pander to the liberal agenda, they must be punished. When corporations stand up for conservative values, they should be supported. This brings me to Freedom 2.0, the bottled water company that proudly represents us. They have hilarious sayings on each bottle like, this water ain't woke and bottled with liberal tears. Use the code BILL for a 15% discount and subscribe to Freedom 2.0. We must never discount freedom, but we can discount water as long as you use the code BILL. Please visit freedom2o.com to order now. That's freedom, the number two, the letter O, dot com. Freedom2o.com, use code BILL for 15% off. Okay, let's go to the mail, Lynn Beatty, Sandy Hook, Virginia. She's talking about my column, Lynn is. And I said, Biden as a human being doesn't deserve to go out the way he's going out. My opinion. Biden does deserve it. Yes, he does. And a whole lot more. Dangerous open border, high crimes, put our national security at risk. Uh, he deserves far worse than dementia. That's not the Christian philosophy. That's all I'm going to say. Okay. Wayne Lockhart, Ontario, Canada. Trump and Biden should end up in the presidential election. I believe the polls indicate they will. Would Trump easily would win, right? No. No. He wouldn't easily win because of what we said tonight. If he would just keep it on the issues, he would. Paul Douglas, York, Pennsylvania. Beyond a doubt, President Biden illegally took classified documents. True. It is beyond a doubt that President Biden, as head of the Biden family, took millions of dollars from foreign companies. Not true. Could have. Not proven. First one, yes. Second one, no. Stephen Kornreck, Hamas, Utah. Hey, Bill, a quick point about Jill Biden is quite common for a spouse to be in denial when the husband or wife has dementia. Okay. But she, she's part of the operation. So... Um, Surge, crossing the border each day, 5,000 migrants, that would equal 1,825,000 a year. That's why the bill went down. That's why the bill went down. John Schaefer, Fairfield, Connecticut. I respect your opinions, O'Reilly, but I have to disagree with something you said. You insinuated Tucker Carlson is not a journalist. I don't insinuate. I don't imply. So that's totally wrong. Your perception of my evaluation of Mr. Carson is wrong. I didn't address his journalistic chops. I said he had a perfect right to get the interview. And the people squawking about it were stupid. I don't insinuate at all. Chris Van Hempler, Midland, Michigan. You should offer Barack Obama a free lifetime membership on BillOReilly.com. The interview was that good. I'm glad you watched it. I'm glad you watched it. Um, Christopher Banton, Chicago. Bill, I saw your report on Child USA. I immediately signed a petition. You're a patriot. We got to protect these kids. There is a petition on BillOReilly.com. We want you to sign it. We need a new law. These internet companies, they can't be putting this child porn up there. They can't. We got to punish them. Please. Very important. Very, very important. Uh, okay, so that's on BillOReilly.com. Word of the day, do not be gormless, G-O-R-M-L-E-S-S, gormless. And if you want to uh, pre-order Confronting the Presidents, we will not bill you until we ship the book to you. Back with a final thought in a moment. Mike Lindell and MyPillow employees want to thank No Spin News viewers 
for the continued support and to say thanks. They're offering 50% off their best prices on overstock clearance and even new products. Right now, get 50% off the MyPillow 2.0, their brand new flannel sheets, or their six-pack towel sets. They offer free shipping on larger items such as mattresses and mattress toppers that are 100% made in the USA. Everything is on sale. Kitchen towels that actually absorb dog beds, blankets, couch pillows, and much more. So please go to MyPillow.com, use the promo code BILL, or call 800-869-0298 for free shipping on your entire order. That's 800-869-0298, or go to MyPillow.com, promo code BILL. Let me tell you a story about a guy named Leo Grillo. Leo was on a road trip, came across a Doberman. This dog was severely underweight, clearly in trouble. Leo rescued that Doberman and named him Delta. And this inspired Leo to start Delta Rescue, the largest no-kill, care-for-life animal sanctuary in the world. They have rescued thousands of dogs, cats, and horses. Do you know what Leo's mission is? Dedication and everlasting love to the animals. That will be Leo's legacy. Delta Rescue relies solely on contributions from people like you and me. Speak with your estate planner because there are tax-saving estate planning benefits. You can grow your estate while letting your love for animals live well into the future, leaving a legacy for those animals who need it the most. So please visit DeltaRescue.org today to learn more. All right, final thought of the day. Um, We are going to cover this Tony Bobolinsky testimony tomorrow. So he comes in around 10 a.m. to the House Oversight Committee behind closed door. He's expected to testify for eight hours under oath about... Hunter Biden and the Chinese outfit that paid Hunter $9 million. This was the big guy stuff on Hunter Biden's computer that said we have to give the big guy a cut, which everybody thinks is his father. Bob Alinsky, under oath, eight hours, big story. We will cover it all this week. Most of the others will not. So I wanted to give you a heads up on that. Thank you very much for watching and listening to The No Spin News. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for watching the No Spin News. To watch the full episode anytime on BillOReilly.com, please sign up to become a premium or concierge member. Visit BillOReilly.com to sign up and start watching today.